everybody. T for Marie, back again for another week. Time flies like crazy. I don't know what's happening, but it seems to me that we're just starting 2023, and it seems to me like it's already been two or three months. So I'm live on Facebook, and I'm live on Instagram. So sometimes I may be looking down or looking up. It's just there's no app that can do both at the same time. So we try to find a way <laughs> to answer to everybody's needs and hopefully I will help somebody today. So Marie Cavis from the Face Yoga Passion, so nice to see you again. If I had a chance to speak to you before, if you'd have a chance to see my other lives, Happy New Year. I say Happy New Year till the end of January. People find it's a little bit crazy, I don't, because I didn't have a chance to, um, it's a new year, it takes 30 days, things takes time to kick in, right? Just not once that you get results by perseverance, perseverance, perseverance. So little hairs popping up here. <laughs> so I wanted to wish you good health. That's the basics of basics. But mostly this year, love yourself a little more than you did last year. Love yourself a little more in the sense where you're able to see yourself differently you're offering yourself this beautiful love. And that's what face yoga is all about. Doing something different to get best results quickly with personal coaching that I coach you directly, then you get results quicker. So all of these aspects we'll be covering today, I wanted to talk to you about winter skin. Well, I live in Montreal, Canada, which is in the eastern part of Canada. And today we're at uh, minus six, which is about, mm, I don't know how much in Celsius, but um, uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, so it's a little chilly. <laughs> and our homes are warmed. We're very, very blessed to have a warm home. But we're going outside to walk, outside to ski, skating. I love skating. Um, so we're all going from back and forth to warm, to hot, to hot, to warm. Some of us have gone back to work physically in an office. Uh, some are just part-timers in an office. So trying to coordinate everything. But our skin does take a toll. Okay? So I wanted to let you know that for your information, we're able to, if you wanted to get into my program, my group program, Jouvence Prestige. It started last week, but we can you still have time. This is today's the last day to uh, link on to the course. So it, it deals with an eight week process. We started with the forehead last week and today we're going to be talking our beautiful, beautiful pearls, your eyes, essential. So we're going to be lowering down the uh, crow feet and then and, and the and the um, eye bags, so on and so forth. So you have access to the videos on my private Facebook page, my lives, plus the videos that I give you with videos for every single week because we're covering every single part of the face, the eyes, the mouth, the lips, the nasal labial folds, the cheeks, the neck, and the, and the advanced course. So plus the PDFs, plus other bonuses. So leave me a DM if you wanted to learn more about that. So today is the last day. If you didn't have a chance to like my Facebook page or my LinkedIn page, please go ahead. If you like what you hear, share with your friends. We want to, want to grow this community with more wellness, helping each other. Um, so let's start with uh, dry skin. What is this? You see, I already start scratching my skin here <laughs> because my, my, my hands become very, very dry. I never go out without any gloves. Um, and I also put cream before I go to bed with white cotton gloves, which maintain the moisture all night long. So that's another aspect which I haven't started yet. And I'm starting as of tonight. <laughs> so what can we do for our dry skin for our face? As you know, uh, your, your skin not only gets dry, but it gets rough. It's a rough texture. Uh, so you need to have your winter routine. Sometimes your skin gets cracked. I know some of the people that I know get cracked lips, uh, cracked cheeks also I've seen. 
itchy, burning, redness. Does that ever happen to you? If you're on live, please say hello. Uh, give me, tell me where you're from and let me know. Uh, watch, watching, uh, while you're watching it later on, hashtag replay. It would be very uh, interesting to see how you feel. And do you suffer yourself from dry skin in the wintertime? Because it's not everybody. And afterwards, I will do one exercise that has helped me tremendously with this dryness. But for me, the dry scalp was a real issue. So I'll show you a massage for your scalp at the end, okay? For better blood circulation. And it's going to soothe yourself so, so amazingly. I'll show you because I'll give you all the details about that. So one of the first things that I want to mention about the winter, please put some sunscreen protection. Yes, it's winter. You think the sun is not as strong. It's even stronger because with the, with the snow that's reflecting on your face, the, the sun is super, super strong. So another thing that is important also, sunglasses. I know it sounds weird, huh? But sunglasses, I was told by a, uh, an optometrist that some people may get sun burn in their eyes. So great quality sunglasses when you're outside, okay? So those are the two elements that are important. Um, there's other things that do affect your skin in the wintertime. And you think that it may not, but it does. Do some of you take long, hot showers in the winter? Just put up your hand and just say yes or no. Let me know. Because it does make a difference. When you take hot showers, and now it's very cold. So if you say I'm going to take hot showers. Well, it totally deprives the skin of your natural oils. Okay? So what I do recommend is a shower, which is lukewarm water. And you finish up with some cold at the end. I know you're going to say, oh, my God. The coldness will keep the dryness, will keep the warmth and the oil in your body. So that coldness is so important. Um, at first, it's just a little bit cooler. Let's try that. And then when you go on longer and longer, become colder and colder. And it's going to stimulate all of your blood vessels. And you're going to feel good. You're going to feel more energy. There's, it's a win-win situation here, people, with cold showers, okay? Don't allow them for your showers. Don't make them longer than five to seven minutes. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, my God, that's the time it takes me just to wash my hair. But just be careful. Feel conscious about it, okay? Um, what can we do with cold? Um, take care of our skin. Well, today, um, I'm... I'm going to be talking about a DUI that can hydrate your skin and repair your skin for the winter. One of the things that I do like is a face mist. Um, first of all, before I talk about the face mist, I wanted to talk to you about something which is really, really fantastic that I found out last year which is great for the winter time, but also the, the summer. But it's called, um, I'm saying a lot of puns today, I'm sorry. Prickly pear oil. Prickly pear oil that I discovered as of last year from one of my clients, Joanne Essence, which is a fantastic, fantastic oil, which is pure, uh, that she takes, which is very nourishing because it has vitamin E, which is excellent for your skin. It's antibacterial, um, but the thing is, is that she buys them from a woman from Morocco. Which they make their own um, particular oil, which is pure and natural, and it also helps to uh, decline the brown spots, reduces brown spots, and then if you have any type of lines on your face, which or that you've had uh, because of operations or whatnot, it does help to diminish it, okay? It has helped also for people with acne and skin problems. So it's a fantastic oil. And Joanna Sanz offers a great 10% off 
directly for all of you who would like to purchase uh, this particular product. Just leave me a message and I'll leave you all the details to get the 10% off. Just go to joannaissance.com and face yoga 10%. So the DUI. Why do we need a DUI? Well, because I find it's easy to make, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, it's fantastic also for your skin. So let me tell you about what I do. I'm actually finishing what's fantastic also you can reuse your bottles. I'm finishing up this particular uh, facial toner, which is made out of glass, which is ideal. What I will be finishing in this up, I will be reusing it for my facial mist. So what it is, it, it includes uh, fantastic ingredients, like it's one cup of distilled water that you include. Naturally, it's more than a cup, but you use half of a cup if you have, depending on the on the uh, container that you have. Half a cup of pure aloe vera gel, and one tablespoon of jojo, jojoba oil. But what I love to put, and this is my thing, is rose water. Are you familiar with rose water? It's amazing. You can put one to two tablespoons, depending on the concentration that you like, of rose water. You mix it up and you put it in a, in a place with no, with no light. Uh, you can put it in the fridge if you like. In the summertime, that's what I do. I, I spray it because I want something refreshing. But if not, you can just put it in a closet, but away from the light. Okay, so you can, uh, you can easily use it for a good month. But if you put it in the fridge, it can last a little longer. So if you after you take your shower, you can you can spray your face three or four every two to three hours. It's quick, it's easy. You this is the size that I can put in my purse. I have a bigger one that I keep at home. So moisturize your skin as much as you can. And another thing, when you do take a hot, you take another lukewarm shower, try to pick lotions that have oils in them to hydrate your skin to cleanse and to keep up the moisture for your skin so that's my doi for today and what do i do for the lips now one of the things that i recommend do not lick your lips with your tongue <laughs> it will dry it up <laughs> so what you could do is you can put some some jojoba oil, excuse me, some jojoba oil directly with a Q-tip on your lips. Uh, or you can buy some, any type of uh, uh, lip container for to keep your moisturizer, moisture, to moisturize your lips. So applying these up will allow to, jojoba, jojoba oil is fantastic also for anti-inflammatory and anti micro to take out the, the, the um, micros antimicrobikes, so it allows to reduce them, helps to maintain also to balance out your natural skin oils. It's a great for combination skin. Now, if you don't like jojo oil, then go ahead, go to coconut oil, go to um, almond oil, um, organ oil, whatever's excellent for you, as long as you take care of your skin. And another element, naturally it's the outside, but for the inside coming out, remember omega threes, fatty acids, very important from your uh, from your salmon, from your flax seeds, from your walnuts. Um, so all of these elements are super important to maintain year round, but even more in the winter time. So if you'd like to learn more, if you haven't picked up my video, face yoga passion. Um, which is a radiant face ritual, which includes four exercises to wake up your face, go ahead on my bio, or again on my Facebook page, go ahead and pick it up, get the chance to renew yourself um, on my Facebook page, faceyogapassion.com. Go to the login on the right side, there's a tab English, and you can pick it up there. So if you like this, please put a hashtag replay if you're watching it later. Put thank, uh, put a heart. Share with your friends. So let's this, let's continue this beautifulness of taking care of your skin, even in the winter. So I'll talk to you soon. Marie Campus from the Face Yoga Fashion. See you soon.